Endometriosis. Endometriosis is a disease where cells similar to those lining the womb grow elsewhere in the body, usually within the pelvic cavity but sometimes further afield. And they operate in the same way as the lining of the womb, so they, uh, with the menstru monthly menstrual cycle, they swell and they shed but there's nowhere for them to exit the body and so they can cause uh, swelling, inflammation, scarring and over time if you can imagine it they sort of can glue the organs together and it can cause real severe pain. The main symptom of endometriosis is pain and that can often be really debilitating and that can be pain around periods, it can be pain outside of periods, pain when passing urine, opening the bowels and also a very difficult one, pain with, with sex. Um, it can also be associated with difficulty getting pregnant. We don't know what causes endometriosis. Uh, there's no cure. We can't have a cure till we know what causes it. Um, we don't even know if there's one cause or many. Um, we need to improve the treatment and management of the disease so people get diagnosed quicker and so people uh, have treatments that help them live their lives better. And there's so many unanswered research questions about endometriosis that we wanted to showcase for those with the disease what is going on behind the scenes. And so we're working with the World Endometriosis Research Foundation and also with the Expect endometriosis centre here in Edinburgh. So we're working very hard to understand why women get pain and then the second thing we're doing is using our information that we gain from these studies to look at which drugs are available that we might test in women with endometriosis and this is a process called drug repurposing which has become very popular recently. We know if we try to develop a new drug from scratch it'll take maybe 20 years. What we need to do is accelerate that process. And the way we can accelerate the process is by looking at how endometriosis might have common features with other diseases. So we've been looking at cancer for new insights. Not that endometriosis is a cancer, but it has some similarities in terms of how cells behave. And we've also been looking at other inflammatory diseases, things like arthritis and other disorders. The problem with endometriosis is we don't have a cure for it, um, but we do have ways of, of treating it. We can either remove the disease or we can treat it with hormones. It's what we call an oestrogen dependent condition. We're focusing on, on trying to better understand what causes endometriosis and we're focusing on the fact that we've shown that women with endometriosis uh, produce locally within their pelvis more of uh, something called lactate um, and we think that lactate promotes an environment in the pelvis which then leads on to the development of endometriosis. We also run um, other clinical trials, so we've just finished a big clinical trial for women with pelvic pain uh, where we've been using a drug treatment called gabapentin uh, to see if this is effective in managing uh, endometriosis. We're looking at things like uh, cannabinoids, so can you maybe have heard that uh, women with chronic pain and sometimes women with endometriosis use cannabis to try and help with their symptoms. So again, we're looking at that in some of our preclinical models. Research is very time intensive and it requires very highly specialised people and it requires money. So it's always the case that we need more money. One of the things that I'm really passionate about is trying to encourage uh, funders to donate to to offer more money to researchers so that we can advance the field, but also to encourage people to fundraise, people to donate money to research.